Hi right guys, in today's vlog we're back in Skegness. There's a bit of an impromptu thing. Uh, I just mentioned the other day that I want fish and chips. Okay, it said, let's go Skeg for the day. So that's what we've done. We're in Skegness now, there's a jolly fisherman there. But we're going to trot this catch to see if their fish and chips are the best in Skegness here on the Lincolnshire coast. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'm Ross. Kate and Paula are just up there. There we go. <laughs> we're cross travel, do holiday things and tourist destinations. So if you do like the video, Click like and subscribe down there, it's all free. And uh, ding the notification bell as well. It's actually really quiet here, filming this just prior to the, the summer holidays. So it's really nice and quiet. We'll show you around, it's just over the road anyway. But yeah, let's get to it, I'm starving. So those of you that do know Skeg, Harry Rams Bottoms is no more. It's gone. Thank God for that. It was awful last time I had it there. It's now Fox's Fish and Chips. So if you've tried it, let us know if it's improved since the name change. There's a slight difference, yeah. Um, so I've had large fish chips and mushy peas, these guys have had two small fish chips and mushy peas. So look at the size difference, there's not an awful lot in it, and there never is. Well, my mum's one is the same size as yours. It is actually, yeah. Let's get into it then. Right, let's get some salt and vinegar on here. Salt first. Thank you, darling. Right, let's have a look at the mushy peas first. They look a bit bright, don't they? Actually, they look alright. They're not bad. They look bright on that camera. They are good mushy peas. They're a lot better than they were at Harry Ramsden's last year. I could literally drink them like a shot. It's ridiculous. Um, so I'm the kind of good old doctor that, but. It's quite loud in here, actually. Well, that's a theme in the place, I suppose. Right, let's go for the fish. It doesn't seem that crispy. There's crispy bits to it, but it's not all that. I suppose we'll find out when we taste it. Right. I think I can do with a bigger tray. That's what I mean. Good. I love chippy chips. Can't beat chippy chips, can you? Chips are good. some crispy butter on the side, in the middle it's a bit soggy, but it was quite nice. Right, shall we get this out? 
and then give it its marks out of five stars outside from uh, away from all the uh, the noise. Really nice fish. Fish is nice. Proper, nicely cooked actually. Flaky just as fish should be. Yeah, yeah right. Let's get down as give it his marks outside. Me. A few chips spare though, it's not a bad effort is it? I'd never make a I'd never make a food challenge expert. I'd always fail. Not like beer meat's food, that guy's a monster. So that was Trawler's catch. Uh, it was okay. It was I mean compared to Harry Robbins it's a five star all day, but if you're just doing it as a general then I'd say the bag would be crispier, the chips were alright, the mushy peas were really nice. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Kate's acting up again. Uh, but yeah, I'm going. I'm, I went three stars. Kate, you went three stars. And Paula went three and a half. Uh, I was toying with three and a half as well. But yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, right. Yeah, just all right. Really nice, yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, let us know if there's uh, better ones around, which is the best one in Skegness. Um, but that's all for this week. So if you did like the video, give us a like and subscribe down there. It's all free. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram now as well. Find and a pink ice cream. We'll try and find you a pink ice cream, yeah. <laughs> Even though it's uh, a bit wet now. The great British summer and all that. But yeah, uh, doing the notification bell for us as well. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.